Nothing is more annoying than chapped, irritated lips. Sorry to tell you this, but you may be making the situation even worse. I'm here to help you with a few secrets that you probably don't know and no one has ever told you. A few years ago, I really studied the subject intensively when my six-year-old son had horribly chapped lips, and I gave him the wrong chapstick, which worsened the situation. Poor little guy's lips were so chapped that they were red as strawberries and cracked. The more he licked them, the more they became worse. This problem is so common. It's a natural tendency to want to lick our lips when they become dry to have an immediate sensation of lubrication. But after this, our, the water on our lips further draws out the moisture from within and it makes the situation worse. So essentially it's a vicious cycle. I really dug deep into the formulations of chapsticks. Most of the formulations do not lend themselves to moisturizing and healing. There are several ingredients that can actually worsen the situation. Phenol, menthol, and camphor seem to be cooling immediately, but are drying in the long run and can be very irritating. Also, there is, if there's anything that's like minty, fruity, all of these flavors and fragrances can really irritate your lips. Especially if you have sensitive skin, you want to stay away from these. Many people actually have allergies or reactions to these ingredients. Also, flavorants and lip balms can make you want to lick your lips, which further exacerbates the situation. So you always want to be sure to use an unscented, unflavored lip balm. One more ingredient to stay away from in a lip balm is salicylic acid. While I really love salicylic acid in a face wash, it doesn't do great in a lip balm. It functions to remove dead skin cells and soften your lips at first, but then it causes inflammation and drying to this area because it's so sensitive. One more thing to look for in a lip balm is if it has a humectant, such as glycerin or hyaluronic acid. These can remove moisture from your lips if the conditions are not right. So you need to make sure that if they do have these ingredients, that it also has an occlusive agent to trap the moisture in. This includes beeswax, shea butter, mineral oil, petroleum, um, and others. Petroleum and mineral oil are very thick substances and lock in the moisture the best. In my next video, I will talk about my favorite lip balms, and I hope you watch it, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.